Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. And there's quite a bit of sunlight in my face. Oh, I'm gonna be careful of spider webs. Uh, a lot of spiders here in Queensland. And that's where we are today. Actually, we're... there's my alarm to leave for the photo shoot, actually. Um, yeah, today we're in Gold Coast, Queensland, and actually we were here about a year and a half ago. So one of the people that we did meet up here was Bailey, and he happens to own this Camaro SS. I don't actually know which, mo which year it is. I think it's a 69. Um, Camaro SS and his brother happens to own a, this 1970 uh, Mark 1 Mustang as well Which I have shot and I've posted it all over my Instagram and these are probably some of my favorite car photos I've ever shot um, In my life <laughs> and the thing is about tonight and why I'm speaking so quickly And I'm trying to fucking get the intro done and over with is because we're actually about to go meet up with Dan and Bailey And shoot both of those cars together tonight. So yeah Lovely. Do you think there's too many cars here? No, we, we shoot there and there. There's plenty of room. But you won't be able to get the city in the background. Oh, fuck the city. Yeah, the sunlight's better. I'm Hayden. I'm fucking attention hall. Yeah? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stand up on the car for this thing. This is a sick location. Look at that sunlight. Hey Bailey, can you turn your wheel to the right a little bit? Perfect. You know, 100% have to photoshop that fucking pole out of every one of these shots that I like. All right, we literally just finished up now. The sun's pretty much gone down. Um, I don't really have anything else to shoot. I'm pretty happy just to get some fuck off rolling shots of these cars and then just go get some food, if I'm completely honest. Um, that's just me being a lazy photographer <laughs> and uh, not continuing the shoot. But yeah, no, I'm, I, uh, I'm very happy with those photos. So sometimes when I'm just very happy with the, with the photos, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Anything, anything from now on can just I don't really care what happens for the rest of the photo shoot because I've just got that one banger shot that I know that when I chuck it in my computer and I open it up and I edit it, it's just going to turn out like so great, like I'm so excited to edit it. Yeah, then I don't really care about the rest of the photo shoot, if I'm honest. Like all my dopamine just goes like doo -doo -doo -doo, and I just get depleted. So yeah, we're going to get some rolling shots and then go get some food. So enjoy and I'll see you back in Lightroom. Sorry it's a bit of a shorter video today and that is because now I'm freaking out because I'm scared about the microphone not working because that's actually what happened. So there was actually a first location that we went to um, but this is what the audio sounds like. And that's because a certain someone was using my camera and hung it out the window of the car upside down to get a shot and then made the audio go all funny. So, thanks Hayden. Appreciate it, you've been killing it recently with your no fucking uploads for like eight months or whatever. Um, no, anyway, no, this is, we're not gonna roast Hayden here. There's plenty of other videos on my channel that roast him, so you can go check those out. But what we're actually doing is checking out some of these banging photos that we got. Um, we had a great sunset, so yeah, we then moved from the boat ramp, which you didn't see, but that's what actually happened. We went to a boat ramp, um, and then that that location was just terrible. Probably the wor one of the worst locations I've, I've ever picked, to be honest. <laughs> it was just it was so difficult to try and find a location. Anyway, Bailey ended up coming through and was like, let's just go to this car park rooftop and it, it worked out. So that's what happened. So obviously these cars go hand in hand together. I tried a few different edits. That's got more of a, a greeny tint to it. Um, and this one's got more of like that purpley orange tint to it. I don't really know which edit I like. I think I like this one better. I think it sort of suits 
the scenario a little bit better. But then also I made some that have, I, I still made some that have like a bluey greeny sort of tint to it, but then these ones sort of have that more rustic look. I don't fucking know, I'm just talking shit. But this is what I wanted to show you. So right now, let's just go through how I got to a photo like this because obviously quite a bit of photo, not that one. <laughs> Obviously quite a bit of photoshopping has been done to get to something like this. First of all, we open up the photo in Lightroom uh, and then I chuck this preset on it as a base to start with. Um, that's a new one I'm working on. That's actually not released yet, but pretty much to give you a gist if you want to get this sort of similar look, this will work more for like a sunset image. Essentially, if I just turn the tone curve on and off, most of the work here is done in the tone curve. Have a look at these. I can't be fucked explaining what actually happens, so just pause this video and just copy these settings. Your, your basic settings here, and then your tone curve. This is for your RGB. Uh, then you have your red red curve, do that. Your green curve, do that. And your blue curve, your blue, your blue curve, do that. Um, and then yeah, basically play around the colors here. That does, that does not need to be 100%. I don't know why that is at 100%. And same with that one. That does also not need to be 100%. Purples, I, I usually always just fuck off the purples over to the blues. And even like the sky here, I could probably bring that back a little bit, to be honest. Um, and then your split toning will make a little bit of difference there in the sky. So just copy those and do that to your camera calibration because that's going to make, that's going to do the whole difference here. So just copy those settings. And then you basically got the preset. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just uh, editing the video. <laughs> I just realized that I'll just give you the preset. So just check the link in my description and then you can just download it for free. And then I did a few more adjustments, up the shadows, contrast, fix it a little bit to get to something like that. So now that we have something like this, let us right click, edit in Photoshop. Now that we have the image here in Photoshop, the first thing that you do is you have your layer here. We're gonna hit Command J or you can just, I don't know, press something there um, to duplicate the layer, okay? That's what's gonna help, but basically, I don't even know why we do that. We just, just in case you make any mistakes or some shit, whatever, it doesn't matter. Next, we're gonna come into the marquee tool here and we're gonna zoom in. And with this image, I'm actually really lucky because I can literally grab all of it and grab the top part of the car here. And I'm gonna hit Command T and I'm literally just gonna drag that son of a bitch over here. And I've left a little bit of room on this side. I didn't drag like from this point of the tire. I've left a little bit here on purpose because we're gonna fade this little cut here into the image in a second. So, but we will get into that later. Okay, so technically this is our image now, okay? If we're just gonna hide this layer back there because obviously we don't want anything back there. If you wanted to keep the size of this image, you could do some Photoshopping here, but I would just prefer to crop it in like this. And this is now our new image. Okay. And there's still a little bit of Mustang on that side left over. So we can literally just grab the marquee tool again and just drag that over. Now we have our car over, but obviously you can see that there is a line here. What we're going to do is we're going to press the mask tool here. We're going to come to our brush tool here, or you can just press B. We're going to increase the size a little bit, hardness down to zero. We're going to make sure the black square is in front here. And we're just literally going to go very roughly here and we're just gonna feather. And now that basically looks a lot more seamless. Does it not? I think it does. I think it looks pretty seamless. Okay, next up, we are going to get the marquee tool out again, and I'm gonna draw a layer over the ground here. I'm gonna hold Shift, Option, Command, E, gonna make an entirely new layer of what we've just done. So. It basically combines both these layers together and makes a brand new layer. And I'm gonna grab the marquee tool out on that one, on this new layer that we've made. And I'm gonna drag down the ground here to get rid of that yucky ground. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Basically, just forget about these two layers. This is our new layer now. We're gonna make another duplicate of that. We're gonna come into this, the clone stamp tool, or you can just press S on your keyboard. We're gonna increase the size, and I'm gonna hold down Option, and then Photoshop is gonna start repeating those pixels wherever you start painting. Let me just show you. So we've selected just here. Yes, that's where we've selected. And you do that by holding Option, sorry. You just select there, and then we're slowly gonna start painting from here. Now, because you just watched me do that, uh, obviously you might be able to see a difference here, but just between you and me, anyone that you're gonna show this to, or you're trying to show this to, or wherever you're posting this, 
If they don't see the before image, they're not gonna know about this. To them, this is the first time of them seeing the image because they don't know what the before image is supposed to look like. There's also probably heaps of other ways to do this, by the way. Um, there's actually a guy, an Indian bloke, picks him perfect, rocks the mono brow. Honestly, is just like a fucking genius at Photoshop. So if you're ever stuck Photoshop wise, um, or you want to know how to do this, I would just go watch one of his videos, to be honest. Do I really- I don't think I even really need to explain, like, the rest of what I'm about to go through and do, because I'm just gonna stamp tool this out, and then you get to something like that. But I feel like I'm doing a better job on this tutorial than this one. I feel like I rushed the fuck out of that one. <laughs> and basically, you get to an image like that. If you did like this video, leave a like down below, maybe leave a comment if you want to, or maybe you didn't like this video, maybe you hated this video, maybe you hate me. Maybe you can leave a comment down below and we can fucking punch on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, also, I've just, um, uh, what have I done? I made Am Amazon affiliate links. A lot of YouTubers do it and it's a way of how we can so sort of survive as creators. If you do a lot of shopping on Amazon, I've actually got uh, affiliate links down below in my description there that have all my gear and everything that I use. It gives me a bit of a kickback and helps me out. Um, or you can just buy my Lyra and presets if you're interested in that as well. So yeah, anyway, with that all said and done, have a shit one, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>